Come on, Lizard. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Oh, look at him puff out. That's his threat. Oh man, look at that. There's Uluru right there in the distance. What an amazing setting this is. Perfect. So these tussocky grasses right here is what I'm looking for. This is the perfect place for snakes and other reptiles to hide in during the heat of the day. I'm on the hunt for a goanna. Big lizards living in the outback related to Komodo dragons. I've heard that they are venomous, which has recently been scientifically proven. But first, something quite a bit smaller has caught my eye. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> there you go. The bearded dragon, one of the most iconic outback creatures. And people have these as pets. Look at that, he's got his mouth open. That's him saying, I, I want to bite you. He really would put, uh, bite me if I put my finger there. You see that beard there? That, that trying to bite me. <laughs> he really wants to have a go at me. They're really, really spiky as well. That's kind of almost a way to defend himself against any potential predators. The way they flatten out as well, they use that to make themselves as low as possible, but also to get as much heat during the middle of the day. Right now he's probably out looking for some little ants to feed on or little bugs. It's amazing just seeing a creature like this really up close. You really get to see how they're perfectly adapted to the outback. See ya. Let him go. Off you go. Come on. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. That way. Oh. Just like this bearded dragon getting active in the hot sun, the big monitor lizards are doing exactly the same. So this time, I'm hoping for something a bit larger. Monitor lizard! I mean, this is absolutely amazing. We've got a wild, big monitor lizard right here. This is one of the largest lizards in the world. He's right there, and he doesn't think I can see him. I'll see how close I can get. Oh, look at him puff out. That's exactly, that's his threat. He now knows that I can see him. And he's using that tongue to sense if I'm a threat. Oh man, look at that. This guy just knows that he can't run away. That's not his, his tactic. His tactic is just to be there as camouflaged as possible. Let's see how close I can get them. Oh, wow. This guy is just completely unfazed by me. He thinks he's really big. You can see the way that, that tail is curved around. If I get a little bit closer, he might use that and whip me and say, get away, get away. All the monitor lizards actually have evolved a venom gland and they secrete it into their teeth and when they bite down, that's when that venom gets in, into its prey and can immobilize it. Wow, that's just amazing. Yellow spotted monitor, 10 minutes in the outback with one of the most amazing wild animals in the world. That is one hell of an experience, amazing animal. I'm gonna let him go. These lizards are venomous, but it's only a recent discovery and not something I know much about. I wanted to find out more. Hey James. Jack. We've come back from our outback trip looking for all the venomous creatures. We found a lot of the monitor lizards and I've heard that they're actually venomous. So is, that, is it true or not? Yep, it's absolutely true. The saliva actually is venom. Wow. We'll actually be milking some today. I've never seen a, a monitor lizard being milked. Yep. So this must be you know, the only people in the world that do this. Yep, so having them bite down on something actually stimulates, stimulates them to salivate. Hmm. There's a bit of dinner in the bottom of the mouth, I see. I get some bits of cricket. Where's the venom gland? Where's it coming from? Right, so this is all the venom gland, and it's actually separate from the salivary gland. Uh, there are multiple ducts along the, uh, along the bottom jaw that sort of ooze venom out onto the teeth. So if you were bitten by that lizard, what kind of effects might you have because of the venom in, in, in the saliva? Um, so you'd notice you'd bleed a lot more yeah. um, than the usual uh, mechanical damage from, you know, say, if you cut yourself with a knife. You'll definitely survive a bite. Well. There you are, we've, we've learned that these lizards really are venomous. 